Last week we explored Bonaire, an island north of Venezuela. We made a visit to the donkey sanctuary. And then we went scuba diving since Bonaire is in the top of the best diving sites in the world. National Park, Washington Slagby National Park, that's the name. Here, so we have the map, and it's so big, so you drive through it with your car. There are also some uh, hiking trails that you can do. We're gonna take the short route, which takes us from the northeast side across to the northwest side. And uh, there are some really nice beaches, birds here but so far we haven't seen any animal life only lots and lots and lots and lots of cacti <laughs> National Park used to be two uh, land plantations, uh, the Washington uh, Plantation and Slagby. Slagby means uh, slaughter bay in Dutch, or it comes from the Dutch word that means slaughter bay. When the owner of the Washington Plantation died, he had negotiated with the government to keep uh, the plantation or the land uh, undeveloped to for the people to enjoy so it became national park in 1969 and then 10 years later uh, Slagby plantation also joined the national park and the whole place here is uh, just under 14,000 acres so it's big it's huge and it's all dirt roads so we're driving really slow <laughs> there is driving at the <laughs> Water on these islands are very scarce, and you can most of the fresh water is uh, in pools like these and in caves. And surrounding these, there's a lot of birds and animals coming to get to get to the water. There's a wara wara sitting up there. It's a bird of prey. It's like looks like an eagle, but it's not. It's like a, yeah, a local bird of prey. It's more colorful. Yeah. And we saw the li little yellow bird that was completely yellow and then yeah. one that was yellow and black. A couple of parrots. Yeah, and, um, and type of pigeon, but it's more blue-purple. And lots of goats and uh, lizards. You can see the Wara Wara bird sitting up there. See if I can get the good shot of it. It's pretty big. Oh, there's two of them. There's one on the ground, two on the ground. We saw like nine of these now. They were like a big group. We saw this one, this one, 
this one, this one. So many birds. That's a pretty big uh, termite nest on the tree. I don't know if there is any termites left in it. It looks pretty dead to me, but maybe they are inside. So these uh, plantation farms, they used to produce uh, DVDV pods, salt, goat meat, aloe vera extract and um, charcoal for um, export to Europe and Curaçao. So the next stop is one of the beaches here on the north side. It's supposed to be a really nice snorkeling place and one of the more beautiful beaches on the island. It's called the uh, Wayaka. Such an amazing coastline this with these rock formations and uh, caves just formed by the sea. Looks really cool and the water is so fantastic. Uh, the beach we're heading to is uh, on the other side of that peninsula over there. We had our picnic at the little beach. It might have been a sandy beach, but it was very small. However, it looked to be an abundance of fish on the water, since we could see them even from above. We've never seen a parrotfish this big. The parrotfish has a big mouth which almost looks like a beak. Their teeth are made of the hardest biominerals in the world, and is even harder than copper, gold and silver. With these, they can take big chunks of corals off, and then they chew the coral with their inner set of teeth. Yes, they have two sets of teeth. When they have chewed the coral, it comes out with the poop as sand. And the parrotfish can turn one ton of coral into sand in one year. The smooth trunk fish must be one of the cutest fish there are. Just look at that little mouth. parking lot we found the parking guards. They 
had a bit of a suspicious look. We're at uh, one of the salt ponds in the park and in this one there's flamingos. Such a funny looking bird. The wind has picked up now in the afternoon. Uh, it was pretty calm uh, before noon but now it's around 25, 30 knots again. We're on our way back. We're just going to drive through the park. It's about an hour to the entrance from here. It's been a great day. The snorkeling was really nice, even if the visibility wasn't great. But a lot of fish and uh, quite nice corals as well, at least when you got out to the deep water. I recognize that tree branch in the water. And we've been driving now for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So we've just been going around the lake. So where we were before was just behind this hill. The ocean is right here. <laughs> so we drove this really long way to get here. I'm quite sure that the flamingos get their pink or orange pink color because of they because they eat these uh, specific shrimps which give them this color and we think then that they might be here like that they these shrimps live in these super salty waters and that's where the flamingos are in these ponds because it's the only place where you see the flamingos here Is it cool to drive? Yes yeah. Har du sett en kanin? Ja. Va? We're at the bay called uh, Slagby. And this used to be one of the major uh, port or anchorages on the island back in the days. And the reason it's named Slagby is because right next to this there's this salt pond. And then we have the, the anchorage and they used to slaughter goats here and salt them, salt the meat before they shipped it off to Curaçao. A lot of people go diving from here. Pretty easy access from the cars. Uh, but for snorkeling I think it's a bit too deep. Just, you can see the corals are way out there. a full day in the national park which we can highly recommend to visit if you're here in Bonaire. Back on the boat we had a work and chores day and while I stayed on the boat Johan and Vera went ashore. So. So me and Vera are out and about trying to find a laundromat. It's so hot today. Uh, it's a really big difference even compared to Eastern Caribbean. Much more humid and really warm. And this is just the beginning of the off season, the hurricane season. So it's only getting worse from here. Strange laundromat. We don't have any um, hot washing. It's only cold water. So I wonder how clean it will be. <laughs> Love. Yeah. This is a 
koja för dig. Ja. Vad mysigt. <laughs> kan ju du sova sen när du blir trött. Ja. We've been working all day. It was a little bit stressful today. We took some technical issues. But now we're... Mama! <laughs> yeah, we decided to go out for dinner tonight. We're in this super cozy place called La Cantina. It doesn't take a lot to be really sweaty now and today there's no wind at all so uh, I really need to get in the water. For the first time I tried going a bit deeper with the sea breather system and it worked great. The hose is long enough to let you go down to around 10 meters with the compressor sitting on the cockpit floor. The water gets deeper right behind the boat and drops down to around 40 meters, which you can see on the dark blue color. It's so cool that right under the boat there is so much coral and fish. The system worked great and it was pretty convenient for a quick dive from the boat. I've been having that thing in my ears since this morning. <laughs> I cleaned the water line of the boat and then afterwards I was like, ah, oh, I have some water in my ear and it's like, ah, oh, you know, when you can feel like it's on the eardrum. But then I took some whiskey just to pour in there to see if that could help the water to get out. And I guess, I guess the crab didn't like that. <laughs> so he crawled out now. <laughs> That's why you have earplugs in when you clean the hull. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and if you would like to support our production, you can join our Patreon crew. See you next week.